he lived before, that there was, Plato also believed in transmigration of soul to some extent. You people who are philosophy students, do you recall how he tried to prove that? Anybody here read the dialogue? I think it was called the Mino, M-E-N-O, the Mino, where he had a student called Mino. All the dialogues are named after a student of Socrates. And Socrates takes him back to before he knew anything. And somehow, I don't remember all the, I read it a long time ago, all the points about the dialectic, as it's called, discussion in these dialogues is known even in modern legal opponents as dialectic. Uh, and he gets him to show that actually he knows things even before he didn't know anything. And the only way he could have known these things, Plato finally concludes by a Socrates' voice, is that he remembered them from a past existence. That since a baby or something knows things, it's remembered from a past existence. So he tried to actually prove it logically. I don't think he succeeds. Uh, uh, there are things you know that Plato was basically saying that you couldn't know through being taught it, therefore you must have known it from previous life. What he's basically talking about is genetic inheritance, what we would call genetic inheritance. That animals being, you know, I mean, I have a cat and a bird and a turtle. And these things know things without being taught. You know, they just know. Every every dog you ever meet, you know, it's a certain kind, you throw a ball. I was just watching one in the park the other day. Someone threw a ball and the dog ran and got it. I mean, I don't think he was taught that behavior. It's just, you know, ingrained as we call it in the genes. I think that's what Plato was trying to make out was memory of past existence. And in, in, in some ways it is a memory of past That you learn that activity through previous generations in your life. But that doesn't mean you existed before. It only means that uh, information, and that's how we see it, was coded in your Genes. Am I wrong there? Is that how we see it now? That there was some information that was coded in your DNA or, or whatever that you inherited? So, I don't know, uh, Krishna here, he doesn't even try to prove it, does he? He just says it. Well, when I was uh, your age, I don't know if you like my personal stories, but I'll bore you with another one. <laughs> I went to India. I was going to get spiritual enlightenment, I thought, and I traveled all the way to India when I was about 24, 25, I hitchhiked to India. I was in the sort of peak generation, sort of people were on the road, sort of hitchhiked in place. I hitchhiked across America. I'd never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I survived. <laughs> Uh, I never forget the middle of Indiana at three o'clock in the morning, with uh, you know on the road there with trucks going by, and that I got that on through Ohio. I never met so many drunks and weird, crazy people. But you know, you, you, you're sort of amazed that we could survive with these things. But I'll leave that for another day. Oh, we went to India, and I met this woman who used to sit near Gandhi's tomb, and she was considered a saint in India. She was really a very nice person, and uh, for some reason, I don't know how I got introduction to her, but make a long story short, I know you guys may not like me, but she liked me, and uh, I can't understand why she liked me, but she did. She had all kinds of reasons in her brain, because she said I brought her something from something that she was waiting for, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, uh, <coughs> all these people used to come up see her and they used to crawl up to her on her hands and knees and kiss her feet. And she had this um, skin, I don't know what you call it, disease or whatever, where she had blotches of discoloration all over her skin. What's it called as a name for it? Is it uh, some, what? Liver spots. Is that what they call it? No. Well, I don't know, it was no. more than liver spots. I That's the rises. No, I think it was the elephantiasis or something they call it. I forget what they call it. Some, it was like, you know, separation all over her. Anyway, so I used to say to her, I said, there, 
why are you letting, why do you have these people come and kiss your feet? And she said, oh, it does something for that. I, I suffer. That was a pretty good answer, I thought. In other words, she didn't say, oh, I like it, like Jesus in the scripture, and he gets angry when someone doesn't oil his feet properly, and someone, Judas Iscariot, complains, and then he says to Judas Iscariot, shut up, you know, Judas Iscariot says, you should have sold the ointment.